Hey, what's up, you guys? All right, we've got a treat right now. So there's America's Got Talent going into its 10th season, and then there's Deal or No Deal, both of which have Howie Mandel at the helm. Thank you so very much for joining us, Howie. Uh, tell me about Deal or No Deal. We know it's coming back after 10 long years. What can we expect? I can't tell you how excited I am. There aren't words to describe it. It's the best job I've ever had and also just the best place you can ever be. CNBC was nice enough to relaunch uh, what I believe to be, and not because I was on it, not because I hosted it, the best game show of all time. And the reason it's the best game of all time is because there's nobody that can't play. You know, whether you're five or 95, there's no skill, there's no trivia, there's no physical stunts you have to do. It's just risk versus reward, it's luck. So it's as big and better than it ever was. It's still a million dollars, and uh, it's just—it's kind of a, a, an emotional roller coaster. You'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll scream. It's entertaining. It's there's, it's educational because you could. I think that you should discuss this with whoever you're watching it with, like what the right decision should have been or should be, or what they're doing in the moment. You'll you'll scream at the television. It's just the most fun, best show I've ever been involved in. Now I know for you, a deal or no deal was a bit of an unexpected venture. So what's it like now getting back into the flow and getting back to a show that you said really changed your career? Uh, it, I didn't want it when, it, when it was first offered to me in 2005, I said no. And I didn't want to be a game show host. And as a comedian, being a game show host was the punchline rather than the setup because I thought it would ruin my career. My wife explained to me that my career wasn't going that well in 2005. 2005, that could be your career, so take the deal, you idiot, she said to me. And she's always so eloquent and right, and I took the deal, and it, nobody was more surprised than me that, you know, it took off. I had my biggest uh, success with deal, the most opportunities I've ever had with deal or no deal. they would never hired comedians before to do game shows, and then since then, you know, there was Louis Anderson and Jeff Foxworthy and Steve Harvey, and now it's a normal staple to have it. But I was probably the first comedian to host a, uh, a game show. It's got some twists. You know, we have a female banker and we have a, uh, an opportunity for the contestant to do one counter offer per show so they can negotiate and that makes it fun and gives them a little more control and it seems to be more electric than it ever was, you know, and uh, nobody's more thankful than I to be part of it. Now, Howie, I just got to ask, I got to know myself, what are you thinking while the show is on? Of course, you're hosting the show, you're dealing with the audience, but what are you thinking when they're dealing with so much money, ten, twenty thousand dollars maybe even a million? Always the same thing, take the deal, <laughs> you know? Even when you're offered $10,000 at the beginning of the show, and that's why I say it like $10,000. It's 10 grand, and where can you be offered 10 grand? And who walks out of a room with 10 grand after 10 minutes of doing nothing? And I'm risk adverse personally, and I know that they have a chance, and a chance of a lifetime, and an opportunity of a lifetime, and that million dollars is still looming. But personally, my, I probably would never be chosen to be a contestant on this show, but, well, I know I wouldn't because I'm hosting it. I can't be a contestant and a host at the same time. I'm talented, but not that good. But the thing is that, you know, it, the offer is real and the opportunity is a chance, but it is the chance of a lifetime. And, you know, I think that's what makes America great. People take risks, people take chances, and that's what builds this country, and that's who we are. So, you know, you watch this show. It's pretty emblematic of who we are. Well, Howie, you know, we're friends. You're my dude. I appreciate your time so very much, man. And, of course, we will be tuning in to watch the reboot of Deal or No Deal. Thanks so very much. Thank you.